Accessibility Twitter is up in arms about Elden Ring not having a quest log and difficulty modes. Well, my next game doesn't have a quest log either. Doesn't have quests, though. Accessibility Twitter kind of bothers me because, again, it's one of these things where you take something that's in principle good, right? Like, yeah, it's good. It's good if as many people as possible can play a game, even if they don't have a Gaussian normal centroid set of abilities, right? Totally makes sense. But if you get super so fucking obnoxious about every little thing that you make people hate you, then you're actually working against that cause, right? Um, especially if you don't stop and understand the games that you're criticizing and why in some cases what you're suggesting would ruin the game. Like, they just don't... Again, like everything on Twitter, it's just some of these people are super unreasonable and don't bother to think about anything, right? So... Is Twitter net bad for humanity? I think so. Um, I think some form of connected social communication where people can talk to each other without having to go through centralized authorities is good, right? And Twitter supplies that, but the problem is it supplies it in a way that brings out the worst in people. And we need to figure out how to supply that technology while supporting the better aspects of human nature and in discouraging the worst aspects of human nature. And I just don't think Twitter, the corporation is motivated to do that anymore. Right. They sort of had the window and like Jack Dorsey was even trying to do that, but I don't think he was doing a very competent job of trying to do that. But, you know, I'm sure he had a lot on his plate. So, but now he's gone. It's, it's over. It's just never going to do that. Getting mad at songwriters because deaf people can't enjoy their music. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's a good analogy, right? It's like, I mean, especially for, I mean, this is not really my genre of game, but I've played some of them. And like, I kind of understand why they wouldn't supply difficulty levels, right? Like, I get it. And you could disagree with that. You could think that's the wrong choice. Um, but you have to at least understand that there's a discussion to be had there. And if you won't even admit that there's a discussion to be had there, then that person who thinks there isn't a discussion to be had there doesn't really understand games. Wow. Take all my information and send it to Vladimir Putin. It's fine. Oh no, if I say controls for a game are bad, I won't be called racist. I'll be called ableist. And then people will start harping on me about why there wasn't a colorblind mode in The Witness. And all that shit. So... It's just not... Like, and the worst thing is, it's all people pretending like they're good people, but they're, they're really just being dicks, right? They're pretending like they do it, like they care about... about whatever disadvantaged people they're talking about but really they're just being jerks Attention. and it's so disingenuous and the thing is they don't know that they're just being jerks because they've done it for so long yeah it's crazy you don't get what's so wrong with trying to make games more accessible to people there's nothing wrong with that no it's good the problem is when people try to attack my reputation because I think I have a good reason for not doing that. And they decide that that's unacceptable and that I have to be uh, publicly harassed for it. That's not cool. That has happened to me. So, like, people don't understand that if you make a game about color, like, if perceiving color is what the game is, then you, you can't actually you know, do something for colorblind people there unless you change the game to not be about color, right? So, this is a long story. And we actually, we had a research project to try to do in The Witness, actually. Um, some puzzles that only colorblind people could solve. Because that would have been fun, but uh, we were unable to do it. We couldn't figure out how to do it. 
But of course, the people harassing me on the internet did not know that. So, and then even after I told them that, they wouldn't stop harassing me. Because when somebody starts harassing you, they have momentum. And they have to prove that they're right. So, it sucks.